When you look around at what's going on in the world today, it can be hard to have a positive attitude about the future. Right now, we are involved in wars in both Iraq and Afghanistan. Our forces are helping to support a NATO no-fly zone over Libya. And the federal deficit is the worst it has ever been. The American economy is still struggling to recover. The jobless rate is high, and American families are struggling to get by. With all of this going on, it is easy to get discouraged. But then I stop and think about all of the good things that are also happening right now. Many times, these hidden good deeds go unnoticed. One bright spot that we can turn to for that warm, feel-good experience is TED.com. TED, which stands for Technology, Entertainment, Design, is a U.S. private nonprofit foundation, best known for its conferences, now held in Europe and Asia, as well as the U.S., devoted to what it calls Ideas Worth Spreading. Someone who thought I could use their lectures for my interpreting students introduced me to this website about two years ago. After listening to a few of them, I decided that they were more appropriate for advanced interpreting classes because of the pace and content of the speeches. However, I do find them a fascinating source of creative ideas, and I often go to the website just to see what amazing new things are being talked about. If you have never visited TED.com, I really recommend it. Here are just a few of the amazing stories you will find there. Eric Whitaker is a composer. He recently posted a video of himself conducting one of his songs and opened it up to participants all over the world. Each of them posted their singing on YouTube, and an editor combined all of their recordings together to create a virtual choir of 2,052 voices. Another story is by a guy named Sebastian. He is an engineer who helped Google develop a car that doesn't use a driver. He was inspired when his best friend was killed in a car accident. He has helped to develop a car that can drive by itself and save over a million lives every year. When I visit TED.com, I leave inspired and uplifted by the human creativity that is happening all around us.